What is going on everyone? It is Flopfish here and welcome to NHL Tips and Tricks episode number 8 and today we are going to be covering how to play defense against the computer or the CPU if you prefer that term. Um, anyways, so this is part 1 of the 4 part installment over 2 weeks of my NHL uh, defense tips and tricks series and hopefully you guys really enjoy them but I split up into 4 parts because each one of them kind of has a really different uh, theme behind them that is especially important to kind of realize and I think in all four if all four videos were in one general generalized video um, it kind of lose the meaning and kind of lose the point of the tips and tricks part so that is why it is in four parts and without further ado let's get cracking and let's get right into this video so the biggest thing with the CPU is managing your players and covering the passing lanes and we're going to stop it right here so I get some good AI here and I was pretty lucky to have the position where they are because it allows me to use Gleason, the player I have selected, to go and challenge the player with the puck for a hit. Now if picking in the player in the center of your screen for my team wasn't there, I'd be dropping Gleason back uh, kind of just towards the face-off circle, uh, towards the top right side of it and covering, protecting any pass and protecting that passing lane. Now the players on the right hand side here will cover any rebound off a shot and they will cover any dump around which is really good for me because I can go ahead and really really force uh, the computer to do something because the closer you get to them the more likely they are to do an action and there really isn't a pass for them here and they only have really two things which is to dump it around or shoot the puck and let's see what they do so they ended up shooting the puck and because of the players on the right in their positioning uh, I was able to get the nice little rebound there and end up skating up and getting a scoring chance here. So let's pause it right here and uh, you're going to notice me uh, poke check here which pretty much just makes sure that any pass that gets past that direction gets cut off or knocked away and it's very good to use not only against the CPU but online against opponents and let's look at the passing lanes and they have none. Um, also that poke check does cover up any pass that goes up on that left hand side there but um, there is no passing lanes here and other than passing backwards which he's turned around so he's obviously not going to carry the puck and the positioning of Brown allows me to go ahead and go for a hit if he decides to carry the puck. Now up and coming here you're going to see uh, them do something you're going to see them pass the puck across to their defense here and so let's go ahead and let's roll that very quickly here and you'll see them pass it across and now we're left with Bouchard in the center who I switched to and he's covering a pretty good passing lane here which is pretty key and with Bouchard there it allows me to switch to Pavelski now because it normally Bouchard would have drifted off to the right but this time he stays in position for me here just because I just quickly switched to him and he will cut off any pass and Pavelski right here allows me to go ahead and challenge that defender uh, or a defenseman with the puck and it allows me to cut off the last passing lane here to the right and he has absolutely nowhere to pass to right now he has a bit of a passing lane to the right but I can easily sweep across with the poke check right now and knock it away and get possession so let's go ahead and let's see what he does here and yeah alright so the pass went right to Bouchard who is in perfect position intercepted it and now I'm left with a scoring chance here as I go around the net here and that is why positioning is very key in this now as I mentioned before cutting off your passing lanes is going to be the most effective way of shutting down your defense but there's also two very important three very important zones that the computer scores very frequently and that you have to make sure you cover and these are very different from online where you can make mistakes and your goalie can save them the computer here will never make mistakes in these zones so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a live commentary to show you them and yeah so see you guys in that portion of the video um, there's a few places so number one is when they're coming in on the rush this way um, you wanna make sure you defend this area and here kinda of where I'm skating Anywhere's around that area, uh, pretty much from the edge of the O here to the edge of the Honda sign here. And then if they're skiing straight down, um, you want to make sure you're defending right kind of right kind of where I am right here. Uh, you want to make sure you're defending that because they're going to come down and they're just going to take a shot and score. And it's about 90% effective, I'd say. Um, it just always happens. Now the second area is probably one that you wouldn't think about until you start playing a lot against CPU 
and you start getting the pucks into the corner from them and um, behind the net is really dang effective um, so right about here uh, in this area right at the edge of this trapezoid inside the trapezoid but towards the edge they tend to have a lot of backhand passes right in front of the net for one timers which are about 99.99999 percent effective I have yet to see one not score actually in about a hundred or so games and there's normally one goal against me a game and it's normally that one um, and I try to defend it and the best way to defend it is to make sure you have two people at least you have one person in front who locks kind of locks on this person right here so they just you know make sure they're up against this person here and then you have the other person who you know is back behind the net checking the puck and you also make sure you want to pin the player to the boards and make sure you have an active stick as you can see me here I was actively poke checking um, it just kind of blocks the passing lanes like I mentioned before uh, so it's just one of those nice little tip tips there and those are the main two areas I'd highly suggest you defend there um, the other one is pretty much well pretty much any one timer that the player gets a puck from probably right here to about right so in this area pretty much anywhere um, that a player gets a puck here uh, it's on a one timer probably gonna score and yeah so those are the main areas you've just got to defend with a computer in short um, don't allow one timers because they're pretty effective um, Henrik Sedin likes to fall a lot apparently uh, if they're behind the net make sure you put pressure on them behind the net but make sure you have people in front of the net locked to the players in front because if they're free um, I just scored on myself <laughs> if they're free they're going to uh, whatchamacallit um, they're going to be able to score and shoot and one time it and it's about 99 as I said like a 99% success rate um, and then the final one is if they're in on the rush uh, make sure you eliminate this kind of area in here same goes for both sides I guess so anywhere is kind of where I'm skating within there uh, make sure you eliminate that because they're just gonna come down here like this and they're just gonna shoot it and odds are they're gonna score um, same thing on this side make sure you're protecting that same sort of area in here and it's I haven't seen it as effective from here <laughs> They swore they're more effective from here when they skid across like this, but that's like any player, um, which I'll get into in the next episode. And also, they, they're really good at these backhanders. And I guess the final one would be from behind the net, they like to protect the puck and then just wrap it around and score. And I'll show you what that looks like on this side because, like I said, it's a pretty high success rate. So we'll just slow down my momentum here. So we'll come around, we'll protect the puck, and then normally they just shoot it right away and normally it goes in for them uh, let's see here let's see if I have any luck with it no no luck for me but um anyways guys that's about it for this episode if you enjoyed it please leave a like uh, if you want to see the other episodes I highly suggest you subscribe because uh, the one against the rush defense will be going up hopefully Wednesday and then the one against or the rush offense not defense and then the one against uh, kind of someone who's really good at avoiding you um, and kind of someone who's a bit kind of similar play style to me that changes up their game a lot but also knows how to cycle um, we'll do that one on probably Saturday hopefully and then the final one is going to be the overall video um, which is the ultimate one which is gonna take a while to produce but it'll be really really good and yeah so anyways guys uh, if you enjoyed this like I said please leave a like it really helps me out a lot and it lets me know you guys enjoy the content and the whole playlist should be on the side for the other tips and tricks and until next time guys take it easy and peace out